scheduled for one fall, and it is for control of chaotic wrestling. to this first half of our double main event. The firebrand, Brian Fury, you see him right there, representing Chaotic Wrestling. He probably wouldn't admit to representing a company that he has had some issues with in the past, but he is here to defend this company against Sean Gorman, and as he refers to it, his anti-chaotic group. I called Brian Fury earlier today, and I just said to him simply, I said, help us, Brian Fury. You're our only hope. He didn't answer me, but I left that on his voicemail. Yeah, no pressure, but it does all fall on the shoulders of Brian Fury. He accepted this match. And he is going to go one-on-one -on -one with the brand new bad Todd Hansen. Again, Fury wins. Gorman's group is no more. Hansen wins. Sean Gorman becomes president of Chaotic Wrestling officially at midnight, Saturday, June 8th, 2013. This is dark days upon Chaotic Wrestling if Sean Gorman takes over. Dan Tanaka, the referee. I don't exactly, I mean, that words can't describe how, how much trouble we could be in if that man, Sean Gorman, is in charge of this company. 
These two no strangers to one another. Both are former heavyweight champions. Fury one time, Todd Hansen on three separate occasions. It's a much different Todd Hansen than the former handsome Johnny that we knew from the past. Collar elbow tie up center of the ring. A much different Todd Hansen, a much more angry Todd Hansen, a much more physically fit Todd Hansen. I mean, if we were looking at handsome Johnny three years ago, we'd still be in some trouble, but this, this man, this man is a beast. He's an animal. And he will not stop until he's destroyed this company. Waist lock by the brand new bat, Todd Hansen. Fury goes behind trying to control the arm. You see Hansen trying to cut him off. But Fury able to apply the arm ringer. Reversed by Hansen into the side headlock. Two of the most technically sound in chaotic wrestling getting it on here tonight. Shoulder tackling Todd Hansen with the 27 pound weight advantage just drove right through Fury. Off the ropes again, dropped down by Fury. Went for the hip toss, blocked, blocked by Fury on Hansen's attempt. Now into a uh -oh. Sin City plunge, perhaps. Back close, Fury. And Fury just able to get out of the way. Todd Hansen letting him know. And you know what? He is absolutely right. We were that close to losing this company to the dark side. Sean Gorman told me earlier today, he said that if he is elected president, if he, is, if he takes the presidency here, he wishes to be called the Emperor Gorman, just so you know. Yeah. Good to know. Good to know. Good for him. Got to get through Brian Fury first, and that is no easy task, my friend. What were you thinking when you accepted this challenge, by the way? What, what, what were you thinking? I knew we had a guy. I knew we had Brian Fury. I'm not scared. You scared? You know what? Yeah, a little. You I got mean, your I'll riot gear on. You must be a little scared. Well, you know what? If stuff goes down, you know. Yeah, well, we all know what happened right here in this building earlier this year. When Gorman and his group took this whole company down for the night. They tore the place apart. They tore you apart. They tore the ring apart. Almost got you. Everybody jumped out to save you. Nobody even bothered saving me, but that's another story. Fury off the ropes, caught by Hansen. Fury fights out of it. Double leg dive. Oh, wait a minute. Going for that branding iron nice and early here. And Hansen knew it and rolls right to the outside. Gorman telling Todd Hansen to slow down, take a break. You can see the strategy of Brian Fury obviously go after the back of Todd Hansen. If he can weaken that back, he could slowly dissect him during the match. Absolutely, that previously injured back, Todd Hansen. Well-known back injury. Sean Gorman out here by himself. Does not have Sean Burke, the Logans, the Tony Omega with him. The anti-chaotic group. The Dark Cell. The dark side indeed, like cancer. Just takes one dark cell, it just takes one, one little infection to start and take over the entire company, and that's really what has happened. Todd Hansen laying the bad mouth on Dan Tanaka, who forced that break in the corner. The referees, everybody wondering what the future holds here. Uh-oh. Hansen close, oh! oh! Todd Hansen's down, look up! Suicide dive and Fury just took out Todd Hansen. And listen to the fans respond here in Woburn. What an enthusiastic crowd, what an unbelievable chain of occurrences there. And Brian Fury throwing caution to the wind some six minutes into five minutes into the match. Rich, these two men have had some epic battles throughout the years. 
two-thirds of the Cold Fury 12 main event right here in this match as these two, along with our current champion, Brian Malonis, battled it out in that ladder match to crown a new champion. Of course, we know Malonis winning the match, still the champion, defending it tonight against former champion Sean Burke. Even if you think back to Cold Fury 10, Todd Hansen versus Brian Fury in a ladder match, and I don't really we'd want to be the one to say it, Rich, but guess who came out on top of that one? Yeah. Oh, head first into the turnbuckle goes that man. The brand new bad, Todd Hansen. He is now down on the floor. We, we talk about breaking point, 2011. Guess who came out on top of that one? I don't like it. You, you, I know you had Brian Fury, but I don't like it. This is a, a, a more angry Todd Hansen. And Fury now soaking in the cheer of the crowd and throws a well-placed boot right to the side of the head of one Todd Hansen. One, two, kind of two from referee Dan Tanaka. As Fury's got Hansen backed in the corner, gonna quickly follow up, goes to the arm of the brand new bad, whips him out far side, up oh, yeah. Goes Todd Hansen. Into a lateral press, a hook of the leg. And two, Brian Fury able to kick out, I mean, Todd Hansen able to kick out of that press by Brian Fury. Gorman stalking around ringside, pacing back and forth. Match has been pretty evenly contested, but Fury has the upper hand right now. Off the ropes, drop down Fury. Elbow caught Hansen, he goes to the outside. Todd Hansen now down on the arena floor. Gorman now telling the referee, back his man up. Back Fury up. Gorman, who used to manage Brian Fury, now finds himself in perhaps the biggest match managerial-wise of his career here in Chaotic Wrestling. And speaking of that, Rich, Brian Fury said straight up, he said, oh, oh Lord. He said, I have worked for Sean Gorman before and I will not work for him again. And Fury just drove, was driven head first into the ring post. Will that be the difference maker? Fury down, trying to take a break, but look at Todd Hansen right there. Got the wrist tape around the throat, right around the throat in front of the referee. Tanaka warning Todd Hansen, who responds very kindly by saying, shut your mouth. That's a way to respect an official here in Chaotic. And that fist right to the face of Brian Fury and the pace has quickly changed. Or the momentum, I should say, now in favor of Todd Hansen, who is unrelenting as he pounds away on the chest. Now measures his man, fist drop right off the apron. And Fury is hurt. These fans hate Todd Hansen. Hansen or this manager of champion Sean Gorman. And let's talk about that. Let's talk about the fact that Sean Gorman doesn't like these fans either. And in order to be in charge of this company, I mean, you have to have the fans' best interest in mind. He's not going to have the best interest of the fans in mind. Gorman has never had anybody's interest but his own in mind. So I don't even want to think about that. You talk about Breaking Point 2011. Yes, it was right here where Todd Hansen, as Hansen Johnny, won the heavyweight title in the three-way against, again, Fury and Malonis. Right here, June 24th, 2011. I certainly hope history does not repeat itself tonight. Back elbow right to the face. Oh, blatant chokehold right in front of the ref. And Tanaka calling for the break. So much on the line here in the first half of our double main event. Referee calling for the break again, warning Todd Hansen. And now Gorman choking Fury on the apron. 
Lateral press, hooks the leg, and gets two. The brand new bad, Todd Hansen, in complete control, very slowly, very methodically stalking Brian Fury in the ring, and now wasting time arguing with the fans. The brand new bad said it before, and he'll say it many, many times, I'm sure. There is no one better than him. If he wins this match, I mean, we are in a lot of trouble, Rich. A couple of forearms by Fury, followed by a whip into the corner. Wait a minute. Fury charges in, Hanson caught him with the legs. Three fists to the top of the head, breaks the hold. A shoulder tackle. Fury just bounced off a taunt, Hanson down for two. Count of two. Ooh, now just pounding away on the top of the head of Brian Fury is the brand new bad. Todd Hansen coming off a dominant victory over the, the original blowout boy, Danny E, recently in Lowell, Massachusetts. And using that shin right now to choke out Brian Fury some more. You are absolutely right, dominating the original blowout boy. Danny E really making a statement to Brian Fury. Outside the ring goes Fury. And look, Todd Hansen's gonna quickly follow up. He knows he's got Fury down. Fury's so resilient. He is down outside the arena, on the arena floor. Hansen now pulls his man up by the hair. A scoop, perhaps a slam on the floor. That's, oh, reversed. Fury able to fight out of that, drives Todd Hansen face first into that ring post, and that could be the difference maker now. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Blocked by Todd Hansen, blocks the suplex attempt on two separate occasions, takes Fury up. Oh, he dropped him right on the apron. Right on, and there is no give right there. Fury's hurt, legs hooked, one, two, only two. Only a count of two, and look at the face of Todd Hansen. Unbelievable, Fury able to kick out. Look, he's going right to the nose. Just ripping his mouth and nose apart. All he wants to do is hurt Brian Fury right now. You know the tag team champions, the Logan brothers, are looking on backstage as they are preparing to defend their tag team titles later tonight against Infliction. And now reverse neck breaker by Fury. And of course, we saw Tony Omega in action, but Sean Burke in preparation of his heavyweight title match tonight against Brian Malonis. They're all looking on backstage. So much hangs in the balance. Oh, spinning power slam by the brand new bad. He could get him right there again, taking time, taunting the fans. And you hear these fans all in unison, booing Todd Hansen. They know exactly what's going on. We know what's coming here. Move, Fury, move! Moonsault misses. Hansen could not connect with Brian Fury. If he had hit Fury with that, I gotta believe it would have been over. Referee now starting the count. Both men down for what's a count of three right now. What happens if both men can't answer the count? No, no winner, I guess. Hopefully it's a draw, right? I mean, I, I would assume so. The drawing board with that. Both oh. are up, and Fury with a clothesline. Another one. The brand new bad comes off the ropes, caught with a big body drop. And again, the injured back. We know the history of the back of Todd Hansen, as you mentioned earlier tonight. Superman forearm in the corner. And here we go, flames of the firebrand. Tore him inside out, Fury now. Got his man right where he wants him. Got to quickly follow up. Off the ropes again goes Todd Hansen. Hansen with a kick, Fury responds with one of his own to the back of the head. Uh-oh. Back suplex, That's one, it. two, and no. Come on, Tanaka. 
Fury now getting a little frustrated, but nodding his head saying, I got him. Brian Fury defending Chaotic Wrestling in this first half of the double main event at Breaking Point 2013. Fury drives the elbow to the back of the head. The firebrand blocked. Retaliation by Hansen. Stiff forearm followed by a gut shot. Off the ropes, Hansen comes off. Fury sets for the backdrop, cartwheel by Hansen. Clothesline duck, spinning, twisting, neck breaker, no. Off the ropes, cartwheel again. Clothesline duck, oh! Clean and silver kick, retaliation with the spinning heel. One. Two and no! That was almost it right there. We almost had a new boss. Almost had a new boss right there. 16 and a half minutes gone in the match. Both men are down. They have really pounded on one another since the bell rang. Neither man with a clear-cut advantage. It's anybody's match, I hate to say it, but it's anybody's match at this time. This is your fault. It's my fault. This is your fault. The challenge had to be accepted. Hey, I wouldn't have accepted him without the authority of Chaotic Wrestling. Yeah. All I know is you grab that microphone real quick, buddy. Trading. And now all of our jobs are in danger. Back and forth. Elbow to the top of the head. Uppercut, stiff forearm right there. Todd Hansen pounding away. Brian Fury outside the ring. Perhaps Fury should have had somebody in his corner to keep an eye on Gorman. Look out, Todd Hansen. Sin City plunge. Got him up. Fury blocks it. Double leg dive. All right, all right. Into the branding iron. Can he turn him over? With the, the injured back of Todd Hansen. The firebrand, Brian Fury trying to connect to that branding iron. And he and kicked the knee right out. You saw that? A well-placed boot right there. Uh-oh. Hanson's got him up. No! No! One, two! Look at the eyes of Todd Hanson. What is that camera guy doing? He should have pulled the knock out or something. It's his job, too. Count of two. Hansen cannot believe it. Gorman can't believe it. The resilient Brian Fury trapped in the corner now. Series of kicks. And now the barrage of clotheslines in the corner. Nowhere for Fury to go except crash into those turnbuckles. And Fury now slumped down in the corner. Todd Hansen's got him right where he wants him. Fury gets up. Hanson charged in. Fury oh, caught him. There we go. The, he brand, gave up. the branding iron. If Todd Hanson taps. He gave up right there. There, he's doing it right now. Hanson trying to do a push-up, trying to ca crawl over the ropes. Will he submit? No, he gets to the ropes. That's going to force the break. And... Brian Fury, he's got to quickly follow up and keep working on that back, and that's what he's going to do. Oh, right into referee Dan Tanaka goes Brian Fury. Hanson kicking Fury off, and it looks like the inerrant elbow. Oh, Brian Fury just caught Dan Tanaka. Look out. Hanson's got the chair. He swings wildly and misses. Double leg dive. Back into the branding iron. The fight, he's tapping, he's tapping. We have no referee though. Ring the bell or something, somebody ring the bell. You could see Todd Hansen tapping. The fans chanting, you tapped out. Obviously the damage to the already injured back of Todd Hansen. The difference maker here. Dan Tanaka's gonna get up out of this funk. You think Dan Tanaka can hear these bands? And that elbow caught him. Don't we have another referee here or something? We should have two other referees here. Gorman now, warning. Oh, oh my 
That was close, very close. Spinning heel kick, the chair connecting with the top of the head. He just took Fury's head off with that kick. There's Tony S. What is Tony S doing? One, two, go! What is wrong with you? Only two. It's still an official chaotic wrestling match. We've got to have somebody there. Where was Tony S with, with, when Todd Hansen was kicking, tapping out? Where was he to save our jobs then? I don't know, I don't know, but he's out here now. Somebody's here to call the action. And the fans chanting for Brian Fury. They want to see Chaotic Wrestling under its, under its current management. The incumbent, if you will, not Sean Gorman, nor do I. Still got to be objective call in this match. Todd Hansen going for the superplex out of the corner. Not able to get Fury out and down to the canvas. Fury fighting out of it. Oh, wait a minute. Sunset. Oh! Nice float over. One, two. Oh. What? Are you kidding me? Todd Hansen able to basically forward roll out of that pinning attempt and break, break the pinfall. Only a count of two. We are now well over the 20 minute mark. You know what I like about current management here at Chaotic? You don't hear much from him. We're gonna hear a whole bunch from that man. Somebody needs to finish this match up. Well, that man would have to be Brian Fury. I got a couple of bucks here. You, you wanna pull together? Maybe we can buy Tony S. And Fury now just kinda looked over here and nodded as if he's got Todd Hansen right where he wants him. You think we can pay him off or something? Hanson slowly getting back to his feet. Tanaka still down. I don't get paid a lot here, but it's still important. Whipped into the corner, elbow. Caught Hanson, Fury now up top. Sunset flip, can he get the shoulders down? Uh-oh, oh jeez, Todd Hanson's got him by the neck. By the neck. No, no, we've, we've seen, seen this, this before, yes we have. Buster right there, two and no, Fury kicks out. I thought that was it for sure. Sean Gorman is incensed right now. He cannot believe that Brian Fury kicked out of that. Look at the look on his face. Gorman going for the chair again. The very dented chair that Tommy Dreamer used in that last match. Hanson's got it. Referee Tony S trying to pull it away. Come on, Tony. Tony gets the chair away. Warning Todd Hansen. This is not a no disqualification match. Fury now missed the super kick. Oh! And that spinning heel kick just took down our second official. And Tony S down on the floor, cartwheel by Hanson, big clothesline. Tanaka's down, Tony S is down, and Todd Hanson's got the chair. Somebody's gotta do something about this. Where's the big guy? Get the big guy out here. Where is Mike Crockett, senior official? I think he's eating a donut out back or something. I'm sure he's tending to business out back. Is he looking at a, a monitor? And we Hansen. could use some monitors here. No, we're certainly not going to get it with Sean Gorman in charge. Hanson's got two chairs set up in the middle of the ring with no referee to see the damage that's about to be done. You're going to take a pay cut. Oh, look out, look what? out. Fury able to battle out of it. Back. Oh. Tries to face first into the two chairs. Todd Hanson face first into the chairs. The first person they're cutting their pay is you. You better get up there and count the three. I'm not a licensed official. What the hell am I gonna do? You count the three, can't you? Yes. All right then. You had no problem grabbing the mic and saying it was okay to take this match. Stop blaming me. Fury now. He's got Hanson. Look at he's got him. He's got him face first on one of the chairs. All right, all right. This is this is what I'm talking about. We could see a concerto here. Clobber him. Waffle him. 
Fury's got the chair, the fans telling him to do it. Stop thinking about it and do it, waffle him. Save our jobs. Nowhere for Todd Hansen to go. Kind of a, I got a car paper. Oh! Oh! That's it, it's over. That is going to do it. Tanaka now coming to. Get over there, Dan. Come on, quicker. And here we go. All right. <laughs> Our jobs are safe, Two. baby. Woo! What? 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 What the hell, Tanaka? Dan Tanaka? WTF? The fans are getting restless. Tanaka saying no. And Fury questioning, why would Dan Tanaka stop the count? Are we in Montreal right now? What's going on? From behind, one, two, only two. Quick count there, Tanaka. Double leg dive into the branding iron. Where's Dan Tanaka? He's not even checking. Come on. WTF. Yeah, Fury just said it best. We can't repeat it. Uh, well, get Tony S up. Tony, when Tony went, went outside the ring, his head hit those ring steps. Of all the shows to have ring steps. And now, oh! leg dive on Tanaka. Oh! Right across the back with the chair goes Todd Hansen. What is going on? Am I in some kind of a Twilight Zone? Oh, no! Is this bizarre world? Sit City plunge on the chair? No! Here is your winner, the brand new band, Todd Henson! Is this bizarre world? Is that evil Dan Tanaka? Does he have a beard that we didn't see? Oh, uh, what? Are you kidding? Of all the people? Dan Tanaka just screwed Chaotic Wrestling. Chaotic Wrestling gave this guy a chance to officiate here a little over a year ago. And, and look at... Did he do? And there you have it. In about two and a half, three hours, Sean Gorman is going to be in control of this company. And it's all thanks to that evil little Asian man. Where's this Fu Manchu? We should have saw this coming. Dan we didn't see Pearl Harbor coming, and we didn't see this coming either, Rich. Dan Tanaka. How? Why? Why the hell would Dan Tanaka do that? He bought himself a referee. That's what he did. There. Oh, boy. There's the money shot right there. Sean Gorman and Todd Hansen's hands raised high by referee Dan Tanaka. Dan Tanaka just screwed Chaotic Wrestling.